Katie, can we just establish first, I'm a bit shocked by what counts as a plus size model. And you've just told me the size. Any model above a size 10 in this industry is classed as a plus size. That's ridiculous. So me being a 12 slash 14, I am a proper plus size model. Despite the fact that the average woman in this country is 5'5", five, five, I think yeah. 11 stone. Indeed. And a six, size 16. And a size 16. So how can a plus size model be anyone over 10? Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> you would think there were enough Yes. Fabulous plus size models. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't need to pretend to be a plus size model to model. Well, as you probably know, let's take, for example, a size 16. It can come in so many shapes and sizes. You can be an apple shaped 16. You can be a pear shaped 16. Mm -hmm. You can be a straight up and down athletic 16. You can be a small busted big bottom 16. How difficult is it for us models to turn up on set to a client, every, a different client every day and have, fit, have the right perfect body for their clothes? Mm -hmm. So what I do is I put a little tweak here and there to save them doing it What themselves. are the tweaks you've done? Uh, I think people think, let's get body padding right. It's not a big sumo suit. It's not a fat suit. Yes, I said the F word. Um, it's just minor, minor tweaks. So this dates back to the 1700s. We use body padding with bustles, with those big shoulder pad era. Who out there has chicken fillets that they just pop in their bra to give the illusion for fuller bust? So That's body padding. It sounds though, that Kate doesn't think there's anything unusual about this. I'd never heard of it. I'd never imagined it was it was necessary. You're a fashioner to yourself, so you've been there in that sort of situation. <laughs> I have, yeah. Um, I think what's shocking is there's been a huge scandal about photoshopping of women to make them look you know, younger, slimmer, mm. and we regard that as fraudulent, don't we? And, and unhealthy for creating images that women can't achieve. The problem I have with the padding is if we are going to embrace women who are a bit bigger, and I, like you, think 14, 16, even 18 is within a normal range, then it should be genuinely bigger. Number one, this is according to fatting up. This is taking work away from women who are genuinely bigger, who could be getting the work. But it's the padding is they're not padding their stomachs. They're not making themselves look fatter in the face. Mm -hmm. It's just big bosoms, big bottom, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that is completely, most of us, when we gain weight, we gain it all over. Mm -hmm. And we haven't got this hourglass. So that's completely unachievable. But unfortunately, the fashion industry is all based upon trickery. We know this, you know, it's mm -hmm. Photoshop. I've been to maternity shoots before where they've put a prosthetic bump on me because they don't want the puffy ankles, they don't want the puffy face, but they want that perfectly round bump. It's based upon but trickery, then, we all know but this. Then you, but this is also part of this idea that fashion is becoming more inclusive and more diverse. If they were saying, actually, it's exactly the same as it's always been, only we are now making women's bottoms look bigger, yeah. that would be true. But they're not, they're pretending yeah. to appeal to all women. And I think if I was, and I have been much bigger than I am now, when I was, you know, a size 18, at age 18, I would have been happy the idea that plus sizes were more fashionable, but I've been devastated to realise, actually, that's not the plus size I can achieve. Let's do, and Shireen and, and Shirella are over there. Now, you're, you're both models. Shireen, have you ever been asked to wear padding in the past on any shoots? Uh, no, I haven't. I have never been asked to. And you're, you're looking at your sister there with the padding that she's got on. What do you think of it, and how do you think it makes her look? Um, personally, I don't think she needs it, <laughs> but it's, I suppose it's down to preference, really. And, yeah. Shirley, how do you feel with it? Um, I mean, it's the first time wearing it, so it kind of feels a bit weird, but, I mean, I, I suppose you could get comfortable in it. How would you feel if you went on a shoot and suddenly the editor turns around and says, right, then, Cheryl, you look great, but we want you to put this on, we want, we want bigger hips, we want bigger bust? I personally wouldn't want to do it. You wouldn't want to do it? No. Katie, I mean, I think part of the problem is, as, as Larry says, there are women mm. who are bigger in the bust and bigger mm. in the bottom mm. and bigger all over yes. who could be modelling the clothes that you've been asked to model once you've added all the extra padding. But you so say... isn't it about celebrating... You know, it, it's a sort of myth that we're creating a more diverse image of women because we're not. We're still pretending. Look, models are booked for a reason. Models are booked because perhaps they've got more slender arms and slender shoulders than the general public. It's not. It's not. It's like a hiring an athlete um, who can't swim very well. Mm. You know, the models. They, they book the models because they've got the more slender arms. And but if there were, if there were genuinely women around who are looking the shape that our models there looked with the huge bosoms, huge bottom, tiny waist. They would be working. The fact they're having to pad shows that this... Those is, women even don't in, Even in the modelling world, those women mm. don't exist, which is really depressing. Well, Holly says here, she's padding out plus-size models is ludicrous. As a plus-size model myself, it's tough enough industry to work in. Now they're not even giving us a chance. What a shame there are plenty of curvy, gorgeous models out there. We deserve to be represented and to represent. And that's Except yes. I also get the point that, that Katie makes, Larry, which is that... 
you know, when models turn up at work, they don't turn up and end up on photographs with no makeup on. Absolutely. Or without, you know, we're both wearing a belt yes. to accentuate a waist. You know, we all, we wear heels to make the legs look longer. Yes. We all do little tweaks to make absolutely. us look better. I, Isn't yes. this just exactly the same thing? I absolutely agree that the tweaks are made and certainly when I was a fashion editor, a good model would arrive with all sorts of underwear to push up, push in, all that kind of stuff. Mm. But there's, but we are in an era where we are supposed to be embracing a variety mm. of different mm. body shapes. Fashion has made a big issue, the fact that we're the bad old days have gone. Yeah. Now we have all these different women. Woman. And so to find out it's, mm -hmm. it's not true is shocking. So what about slimming wear then? Mm -hmm. You know, would you, any of you admit that you wear the spanks, you wear the shape wear mm -hmm. to make yeah, yourselves look I, smaller? Mm -hmm. So is that encouraging anorexia? Kate wrote a whole book about it. I, <laughs> I, I sometimes <laughs> even shower in them. I think they're very comfortable. I'm joking. I'm <laughs> I never take them off. So I think it's about making the best of yourself. Exactly. So you, are you encouraging anorexia by making yourself look smaller? I don't no, think it's about exactly. looking slimmer. I think it's about looking smaller smoother and just looking good in whatever exactly. shape you are. I think yeah. if anything, by adding a little bit of padding, we're actually encouraging people to get fit, to stay in shape, to maintain a great hip-to-waist ratio and actually eat better. It is highly unlikely you'll have a bottom that size and a waist that size. It's not a realistic... Even for an incredibly fit woman, they, women don't tend to look like that. We have tummies when you've got a bottom. Mm. You have wobbly thighs, you have cellular... Like, frankly, that's real. Larry, the fashion and modelling industry is not the industry you go to to reflect what the average no, but the, but the consumer, like. but the consumer is demanding that. The amount of, of controversy about the photoshopping of women on the cover of magazines shows that there is an appetite for realness, mm. which is a really healthy appetite. Mm.